sitting atop its perch, not quite ready, but getting readier by the day. Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Monday. This thing's been sat on my shed in my floor and it's got so dusty and crappy that I need to take it apart and give it a clean and remove any uh, dust and metallic particles that's got in on the magnets. Cool, there's loads of places where the wire's been scuffed on this one. Something very strange I've just noticed is that these magnets are actually thinner. I never even noticed that before in all the times I've been looking at it. So, yes, so I don't know what to make of that, but I just thought I'd tell you that. Hey, this minger. Ow. And he pulled my lips off. This little thing's perfect. Right, this one's got so much on, I'll have to go over it again anyway. Maybe that's the best way. Decided I'm just going to cover them in uh, duct tape, see how that works out. Well, I feel pretty good how that turned out. A little bit more confident about it being up there now for some reason. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to mount this into the frame on its own without the other stator. So it's got some bolts to do up. I've got that one to do up. And then this needs to be tight on the other side to stop anything moving back and forward. So yeah, that's really weird about the uh, magnets on this side being a smaller size and that I hadn't even noticed. So yeah, if anyone knows where you can buy the magnets the right size, if you could let me know. Because we could refurbish this rotter if I can get some magnets, that would be awesome. Ugh. It's not that heavy, I'm just very weak. inside. <sighs> Nobler. Hey. 
Well, the boat was too big then. Whoa! She's neat. Goddamn. I don't know why I panicked then, but you know it is. I'm not sure how keen this one's going to be to align properly. Just on the edge. <clears throat> which end is which that's the front that's the back oh, come on you idiot I'm just going to put this over to stop it sliding down while I'm doing the uh, biznitch. Give that a good old bish bosh. That ain't going nowhere. Now I've got to <coughs> get the gears on. So. Little one's going up top. Lining up with this hole. Is that right? I guess. I basically had put that on the wrong way around. Come on, baby, get in there. Now, if you nudge the whole shaft up a bit, it should want to get it level with that. So it definitely needs to be up a bit. Oh, please go around, yes. Right, okay, now what I'm going to do is loosen the bolts off to tighten the chain. So it's all the bolts loosened off about the same. It says. Now I'm just going to tighten up the bolts at the back. Oh, lovely. Feels good. That feels just right. Sweet.
Fascinating. So yeah, there the bolts are talking about these bolts to push the frame forward and then lock it in the right place. It, it will take a little bit of setting up to make sure it's perfectly level because I think at the moment, I think there's a bigger space here than there is here. I'm not sure, but from my sometimes that can actually work out okay anyway. done this up obviously not how the tower feels with that amount of weight on it bearing in mind it needs a blades it needs blades and a tail yeah it feels good I'll try taking it to the top and then letting it back down again it has one rear guide wire missing the one that will be interfered with by the dangly down do flop Looks like a right monstrosity, don't it? What the hell is that thing? He's left something out. Anyway, yeah, that feels pretty good.